This is Dr. Jez Rowey, Chief of Sports Medicine at NYU Langone Orthopedic Hospital, presenting our technique for fifth metatarsal Jones fracture intramedullary screw fixation. The patient's a 23-year-old male collegiate basketball player, Division I, with pain and swelling on the lateral aspect of his left forefoot. He sustained the injury during practice one day prior. Physical exam demonstrates tenderness over the base of the fifth metatarsal. He's got no ankle tenderness, and the rest of the examination is normal. X-rays confirm a Jones fracture in Zone 2. This patient was indicated for operative fixation as he was a Division I basketball player. Patient's placed in the supine position uh, with a C-arm adjacent to the table. Image intensification to confirm where the incision should be placed is performed with a freer elevator. Prior to incision, a percutaneous stab incision is placed to find the appropriate area and the guide pin is advanced. Both the AP and lateral positions are used to confirm the correct high and in position for insertion of the guide wire. After this is confirmed, we dissect down and use a soft tissue protector to protect the uh, both the peroneus brevis as well as the uh, sural nerve. Lateral imaging confirms appropriate placement and reaming over the guide wire is performed with sleeve protection. Again, imaging intensification confirms appropriate position. And the tap is used to determine the appropriate uh, size of the screw. We wait for the appropriate chatter. The screw length is determined off the K-wire. However, we also place a screw adjacent to the fifth metatarsal under image intensification to make sure it's not too long. A 55 millimeter, 5.5 millimeter, partially threaded, non-cannulated screw is inserted, as can be seen here, reducing the fracture. AP and lateral image intensification confirm excellent position of the screw. The wound is then closed with nylon interrupted sutures. Postoperative rehabilitation includes crutches and non-weight bearing for the first two weeks. Weight bearing is tolerated in a removable boot during weeks two to six, with weight bearing is tolerated without the boot at week six, and a gradual return to sporting activity at weeks 10 through 12. Postoperative x-rays taken at eight weeks confirm healing of the base of the fifth metatarsal fracture.